For this video, I'm going to be showing you tips on how to do all the setups and hides for the auto shop so you can make millions of dollars so much easier. In total, there are 12 setups and 6 heists, and I've been doing all the missions as a solo player. Let's start with the data contract. The first setup is safe house location. You've got to go to Palmer Taylor Power Station where you then have to follow the sky lift to the bunker. You then have to take a picture of that bunker and send it to the Santa. She then tells you to wait for a vehicle to come out of the bunker for you to steal. What I do here is I fly in front of the barrage and shoot and kill the driver. Once you start shooting the helicopters come so make sure you don't miss the driver. It appears that you can fly to the location and then call your armoured groomer. With the armoured groomer you're now defended by the bullets from the barrage and helicopter so you can shoot the driver. All you've got to do now is after collecting the barrage is deliver it to the auto shop and that's it, set up complete. Next setup is defences. This mission is straightforward but at the same time very difficult. The timer starts instantly when Satana leaves the phone. What I do here is I don't hang up on her until I'm roughly around this location. That's because I know the moving vehicle will spawn near that location. You only have 10 minutes to collect all the vehicles. Every second counts. I now go in front of the truck and shoot the driver. When you start shooting, back up the rise. But it'll be too late as your shooting ability is reminiscent of John Wick. You're the silent assassin. They won't even know what hit them. We now got to drop off the vehicle to Elysian Island. Luckily the next two vehicles you got to collect don't move so with the oppressor I fly to the closest one and I literally just fire missiles until there's no enemies left. I now connect the anti-aircraft trailer to the insurgent and drop it off. The last armament is at the petrol station. I'm careful here that I fire the missiles at the guards to the sides and not to the petrol station. I think you know why. <laughs> I now drive it back to Elysian Island. That's it, all three collected. Just to let you know, without the oppressor, there's no way I could do all three. I won't be doing the heist though with the equipment I collected, just to show you that you don't need all the extra defences to do the heist. So don't worry if you don't collect all three. Time for the heist. Get your snacks as you need them. You've got to go to the bunker to collect the hard drives. The advice I can give here is just to use cover to your advantage and be patient. Don't put yourself out of cover too much just to kill someone, as you'll then be shot by someone that you didn't even see. Even when I'm collecting the hard drives, I'm looking around to be aware of the surroundings, just in case an enemy pops his head around the corner like he's playing hide and seek. Take snacks if you need them. There's a railgun that spawns that you can collect. It has two bullets and it's powerful. When you've collected the hard drives, you've now got to go to AV Swartzman for him to start uploading. Just protect him. What you can do here is put two sticky bombs on the path where the enemy vehicle goes past. When the main one with the gunner goes past, I just have a look out the window and blow it up at the right time. Just stay inside and wait for as many enemies to come to you and take them out one by one. The helicopters are easy to take out, all you got to do is have some cover and take out the pilots with your gun. You can even do this with just a pistol. So just for example here, I am taking cover while killing these three guys. I know the helicopter is there so I am just using this wall as a cover while using the angles to kill the enemies. I am now using that same wall as total cover to take out the pilots. Here is another clip showing you how good the railgun is, so if you got it then use it. Once everyone is dead, then AV will give you your money. If you like the video so far, then please smash that like button as it really helps the channel out. The next heist that I'll show you is Prison Contract. The Prison Contract setups are quite easy. The Inside Man setup is where you just have to take Little D to kill some associates. After he's killed them, wait for them to get back in the car, then instantly drive through the metal fence. This is where you're about to be ambushed, so you should already have your snacks ready, unless you're like me who nearly gets killed. You'll now be given the option to either kill the gang members or escape them. I always find as a solo player that it's easier to escape them. I'll drop little D at the police station and that's it. Don't worry small D, I'll be back to get you out. Small D, oh my god I'm so unsure. The next setup is access point. The security always thinks they're tough until you turn up in the armoured groomer. There's one guard that is literally bulletproof. Here I killed him quite quickly but sometimes you got hit so many headshots and he's still stand there like he's the blimmin terminator. I swear I thought I even heard him say I'll be back as I shot him in the head again. <laughs> I then take the truck and steal the trailer. This is where you got to lose the cops. The actual drop off is not too far from the casino, so I personally just try and lose the cops while I was heading that way. Once you've dropped off the trailer, you've now completed the setup. For the actual heist, I just go up this ramp and around the prison. I'll show you the quickest way to complete the heist that I found. Forget about that stupid police car trying to ruin my heist. Not today, Sunny Jim. <laughs> I want to head to this location here where I can climb up the electrical box. I want the high ground. I then take cover and have a look at the location just to get an idea where I've dropped off my car. Here I want to take out all the guards on top because I want to eventually head to those steps. I now take out my targets that are now cowering, begging me for forgiveness. 
Sorry guys, no police are going to help you today. Diversion is here and you unfortunately are his target. I wiped them out, as well as wiping out all the guards on top that would cause me problems from running to the metal steps. Here I'm having so much fun that I thought I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to RKO you the roof. <laughs> you can imagine Jim Ross shouting, oh my god. As I'm walking across the roof, I see another one of my targets just sitting there. Sorry dude, your hide and seek moment is now up. I'm now searching for my last target. When you have killed the third target, the security will take little D on their bus, so try and kill your fourth target as soon as you can, so you don't have to travel as far to get him. He's normally under this metal stair gate, which you can shoot through. Once he's dead, I then go back to shoot the security panels to open up the metal gated entrances. There are three all together that you can destroy to open up all the security doors. I then go through the security door to get a better angle at the third security panel. Now I can get in the car and get my snacks ready as I go all the way around the prison at such speed that I could get a speeding ticket. I just ignore all the police while taking snacks if I need them. I've got one thing on my mind and that's saving my little D. <laughs> as I approach the bus I shoot the driver in the head. The bus will stop and then I wait for little D to come out of the bus right next to my car. I don't really care too much about the police. If they shoot me I'll just take snacks. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> the mission is now complete as I lose the cops easily by the hills. There are so many hideaway locations near the drop off that it's not too difficult. For this one we'll start with the bank contract. For the thermal charger set up, you have to go to Grapesea where the thermal chargers are surrounded by cops. I take out the police with the oppressor, collect the thermal chargers and take them back to the auto shop. That's it. If you can't afford an oppressor yet, then subscribe to the channel as I'm always making videos helping beginners. Bugger it. Even if you have an oppressor, then subscribe for weekly GTA content. What are you waiting for? Click that button. <laughs> the signal jammer is also quite an easy mission if you have an oppressor. You've got to put signal jammers on six fleet of banks. What I do here is mark the fleet of bank that I'm going to go to and find which route I'm going to take. I'm going to go to bank D and work my way up to bank E, then to C and B before going to bank A. The last bank F is at Grand Sonora Desert. Try and remember that route because it'd be the same for the heist. I just wait until the camera turns away and then I put the signal jammer on. That's all you do. The mission is easy but the lack of time makes it difficult. Now we're ready for the heist. All you've got to do here is go to the banks and steal the cash. What I do is I park my car right next to the entrances of the bank so my escape is that much easier. You'll be surrounded by cops but you don't need to kill them all. Kill the ones that are right in front of you. I make sure my health is up as I take my snacks in the bank and when I enter the car I quickly go in and at the same time get my snacks ready. Look how my snacks saved me here as I just enter my car in front of a load of cops. I've got to admit I was about to smash in to get my snacks on complete panic mode. <laughs> Doing it this way might not be the safest but it sure is the quickest. I was done in less than 20 minutes. When you have stole from all six banks, you now have to lose all the cops. The last bank I stole was at Grand Sonora Desert. It's a good location to lose cops because of all the hills. That's it, heist complete. It's one of the more simple heists. The ECU job, train inventory, is an easy setup. I put on the work clothes so I'm disguised when I go into the ship. You've got to search for the container manifest, which will be in the yellow area at the back of the ship. Once you find it, you then have to take a photo of it. You then get a phone call telling you to steal a cutting saw. Once you find that cutting saw, you then take it back to the auto shop. That's it. It's an easy setup. For the schedule setup, all you've got to do is get close enough to take a photo of the train. You then got to take another photo of the brake cylinders. So Santa will then phone you up to go to the control tunnel that is guarded. This time your disguise will not work as you enter the control tower. So I do what we do best and just kill all the guards and take the schedule back to the auto shop. No messing about. For the heist, you've got to destroy the brake cylinders. The best way of doing this is by driving next to the train and putting sticky bombs next to the cylinders. Just make sure you're not too close to the train when you blow them. You can also shoot at the cylinders. What I'll do is get my snack bar ready while driving just in case the enemies get a few lucky shots in. Once you destroy the cylinders, the train will stop. Just shoot that helicopter while near cover. You can die and mission will real real start at the checkpoint with not as many enemies. So Santa will message you the codes of the container that you've got to open, which the codes can be seen on the side. When you cut open the container inside are the ECUs. Try not to spend too much time killing enemies. Kill the ones that you have to kill. Here I'll take covers, I'll shoot down a helicopter. When you've collected the ECUs, try and get back to your car as soon as possible. Once you've delivered the ECUs, the heist is complete. Next contract is a super dollar deal. For the tracking device, there are two locations at Fort Sancuda where the enemies can be at. The Crusader at this location on the airfield tells me the transport will be at the hangar. If the Crusader was at a different location, then the enemies would be here. I don't need to get the Crusader because I have Fort Sancuda as my hangar, therefore I have clearance. Now the mission is probably one of the most fun but hardest setup. I go in there and get a couple clean headshots. I think I'm going to take it easy and then all hell breaks loose. 
I'm now in a battlefield. I'm now using every bit of cover rolling around like a pig in mud or keeping my eyes on the radar as well as shooting enemies. When it's all said and done, I then take a picture of the transporter and put a tracker on it. I can then leave the airfield. If you die, you could lose your personal vehicle, but don't worry, you can leave by taking a jet. Are there easier ways of completing the mission? Probably. Are they more fun? No way. I literally just wiped out the whole army. I now just fly to the auto shop, losing the cops on the way. The next setup, the viral software, is probably one of the easiest. You just have to search the area for the hacker. The hacker gets alerted and you chase him to an apartment. I put my oppressor right outside facing the direction I'm going to escape. Don't worry, this will be quick. I get my automatic shotgun and I just blast my way through. When they're dead, I then search for the fire software. Once I've found it, I then escape. Due to the position of the oppressor, I'm out of there just before backup can even arrive. For the highs, make sure you get your snacks ready as you approach the transporter. Don't shoot, not yet. Just get close enough for you to put the sticky bombs on the transporter as the sticky bombs do more damage. And when you blow the sticky bombs, then hell is going to break loose. Get your snacks ready because now you're going to need them. I'll just ignore the enemies and now just chase down the transporter, shooting it until it has no health left. Once this happened and the transporter stops, you've reached a checkpoint. If you die at this point, all the enemies are gone and you have clear access to the transporter. This is one mission where it's actually quicker if you die. Once you're inside, you have to upload the virus that open the door. Once that door's open, there'll be two enemies that you have to kill. Kill them and start stealing the place. As you leave the transporter, the army is literally after you. Just get your snacks ready and drive. Take the snacks if you need them. Without snacks, I would have died here. Don't shoot at the enemies unless you really need to. Once you get to the client, that's it, heist complete. The madness took about 8 minutes to complete, so it was a quick heist. The setup for the agency deal entry point is relatively easy. I land the oppressor in a spot that's just away from the CCTV, but where I can escape quickly after the setup. Here I just make sure I go around the security while searching for the schematics. When you eventually find it, you then have to take a photo. Due to the position of the oppressor, I can now escape quickly. The security are like, is that a bird? Is that a plane? No, that's a version of try hard oppressor. <laughs> you now got to follow the subway tunnel until you get to the yellow circle. Take a photo of this door. This will be your entry point to the heist. For the next prep, you just have to go to Mackenzie Airfield where I'll just fire a few missiles and then take the IAA pass. It's probably one of the quickest preps. For the heist, you got to drive to the subway and locate the door that you took a photo of. As I enter the room, I instantly get my gun out and then chaos begins. This is going to get crazy. Rambo and Terminator haven't seen nothing yet compared to what we're about to do. I miss a few shots here and I know I need cover quick, or I'm dead. In this mission, the advice I can give is to use cover and take your time. Eventually, you'll be able to push forward bit by bit in what seems like a relentless force of IAA agents. I use so many bullets that in the end I was just using a handgun as I ran out of ammunition, so I then begin taking them out with my pistol. As you go up the stairs, you have a couple of guards that you have to kill. Eventually, you've now got to the interrogation room, where you end up smacking the guy in the face. It seems like he's about to cry. Mummy, he's bullying me. <laughs> if you think that's the end of it, you've got nothing to think coming. You've still got to exit the building and kill more agents. By this point, I've actually used a lot of my snacks, so I have to slow down the pace and just use as much cover as possible. I know I'll keep mentioning about cover, but that's literally the most important part to completing the heist because you've got enemies at all different angles, so without cover, you're going to be picked off in seconds. You've got to be careful here because sometimes they can have some security behind you on the stairs, so be aware that when you're shooting people in front of you, that they don't get you from behind. After some patience, I managed to pick off the agents. I know what they were thinking, who's this diversion as I just leave the building with about 100 bodies behind me? We're untouchable, the elite, assassins of the highest level. Now as you leave the building, you've got to leave the tunnels. As you can see, I only got two snacks left. I mean, that takes skill, doesn't it? You had one hand on your gun and the other hand was eating snacks. <laughs> Having a picnic while you're taking out the whole agency. <laughs> the last thing you've got to do now is find the recipe location, which can take some time. It's like a little mound sticking out from the sand that you've got to dig out. Once you find that recipe, you then take it to your client. Thankfully, that mission is complete. It was mayhem, the way I like it. We show them who's the boss. Here's a video I made giving you the complete guide on the auto shop. Thank you for watching.